<laughs> Hello and welcome to another video. Is this today going to be like a kitchen slam down? Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. <laughs> what do we call this episode? <laughs> kitchen slam down? <laughs> it was very creative, baby. Yeah, you like it? Like it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so kitchen welcome party? to our kitchen slam down. Party? Party. Slam down party. <laughs> I'm Juby and this is Justin, and me our sweet nugget, Azalea. We've been living in our self-converted school bus since 2018, and after a year and a half of building our home, we've finally hit the road. Join us for the ride as we continue our adventures in our big red pepper. So today is a big day, it's Sunday, and well, this morning, Azalea had a blowout all over our duvet cover oh and God, our sheets. Don't need to do that. <laughs> so I'm off to run some errands. <laughs> We're gonna get some new sheets. Baby life. Azalea is gonna hang out with Pops today, and I'm gonna run out. And we're gonna garden. And then, after all of that, we're gonna have the biggest cooking party you ever seen. No, babe, it's a kitchen slam down party. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Come on. Kitchen slam down. Why did that stick? <laughs> it, it needs to be something better. <laughs> now I regret it's hilarious. saying that. I love it. So I'm thinking like lavender lemonade, fish tacos. Oh. Yeah. And I've been making a lot of nut milks, like hemp milk, oat milk. Oh, go to like, if you don't want to make coffee, smoothie, smoothie. Ooh, yeah. So oh. let's make a coffee smoothie. So normally we have way more bananas, but we're running low. That was a nice surprise this morning. Anyhow, for this smoothie smoothie, you're going to need some bananas. And whenever you freeze your bananas, be sure to peel them. And then if you ever have leftover coffee in your coffee maker, like just regular drip coffee, this is from our French press, I freeze it in these ice cube trays and then just pop it in a Tupperware and keep it in the freezer. Um, and then you can use it for your coffee smoothies. I normally just make for one, so I'm kind of not really sure. Nadia says always make for two. Nadia is this TV show that we have been enjoying. If you're into cooking shows, check it out. Actually, someone, <laughs> <laughs> someone actually suggested that show. Thank you for that suggestion, we love it. Also, for the folks that suggested Dick Strawbridge, the mustache <laughs> man, Escape to the Chateau. I found it online Justin and absolutely, I binged it. I love that show so much. Your suggestions are golden, thank you. Anyway, okay. back to the smoothie. Uh, okay, Carol, since it's two of us, I'm gonna do two tablespoons hemp powder. It's a little bit of green and a little bit of protein. So we keep our dates just in a jar up here and I'm just gonna add these. And then this is some hemp milk that I just made this morning. Um, and it's just hemp, order, vanilla, and some maple syrup. A cup or so. I normally put coffee grounds in as well. And then we blend. I think Azalea will be disappointed that I didn't make her some, so I'm probably just gonna quickly make like a banana, date, chocolate powder, hemp powder, smooth, smooth for breakfast. Yummy. How's that smooth smooth? I suppose we've got lots of things to do today, like we mentioned, so we're gonna get on with it. How is it? Mm, I love coffee. I drink it all the time. But doing it in the form of a smoothie is Yum. delicious. <laughs> okay, you ready? Wow! Right right there. Wow. Yeah. Doggy. Are you ready? You cut it? Okay. Bring the water, Zay? That's right. Hydration is key. We had a lot of little projects today in the garden. Filling in some Swiss chard that didn't quite make it in our beds. Mend one of our beds with some compost. And we're gonna put some carrot seed and some arugula. As you can see, somebody's ready. You ready, Zay?
See those muscles? Uh, a little heavy. I think we need to get some soil out of here. Whoa. Can I touch it? Yeah, that's a mealworm. Whoop. Should we put him back in the soil? There you go. Be happy. Good job. You want some more? You're a pro at this, girlfriend. <laughs> Good job. All right. Sprinkle them on this side. There you go. Good job. That's a lot of them. Woo. All right, folks. It's a hot one out there. Woo. The humidity is unreal with all that rain that was dumped on here. Um, but we've come inside for a little bit of rest and relaxation. What do you say, Zay? How do we do? Do we do good? Uh-huh. Let me see you dance. Woo! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! Careful! Whoa! <laughs> Woo! Need a hand? Ah, back up. There you go. Woo! Now do this one. She's been eating this egg roll. She seems kind of questionable about it, but she's still eating it. So we went with the route of cleaning out leftovers and you just sling it in an egg roll wrap and fry it. It's so delicious. So we took our old Mexican food, made a Mexican egg roll. Mom went shopping, you just returned. Can I see your new outfit? Wow, you look so pretty. Woo! Baby shark, da 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 da. Check out these new uh, dishes for our cookbook pictures. I apologize, you have to deal with my face so much today. Chibi's been working. It's been on and off, pouring, as if we didn't have enough rain already, but that's okay. I like the way it sounds on the roof. I'm about to start making some slaw. We're using like a green cabbage instead of a purple cabbage. I prefer purple cabbage, but someone was so kind to give us this humongous head of green cabbage. And so I figured we might as well put it to use. And so I'm gonna use that to make our slaw today. Look at that sexy cabbage. So large and robust. Large and in charge. <laughs> I have to go and save the chickens. <laughs> Great success or a great failure, but I'm sopping wet now. Um, but the chickens, I suppose, will be cozy inside with food and more dough. And hopefully, no squirrels. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, back to the cooking show. All right, Azalea, what are you making, my dear? You're gonna be squeezing some lemons today? Yeah. We are making. Uh oh, where did Mama's lavender go that was up here? Um. Pops. I didn't touch it. Well, you must have. It was here. I didn't do it. Where is it? I don't know. It was here. I never saw lavender. It was. It was here. I never saw any lavender. If I find it here, crushed <laughs> under all this stuff, 
and then you tell me that you didn't see it before you put all this stuff on top. What happened to my lavender? Never what happened to, to my God, lavender? I never had it. Well, I suppose it'll just be lemonade with no, no lavender. No, no, we have to have the lemonade. Where is it then? I don't know. It Find was never it. there. It was, never it was there. there. It was drying. Oh, it's here. <laughs> see, I told you. Oh my Wait, goodness. Cool it's out. It's on camera. Yeah, it's on camera, babe. Yeah, yeah my bad. Here's all lavender. <laughs> you see what I deal with? Completely innocent husband. Just trying to make his full slaw. Most of the time you move my stuff, man. What's mama doing? So anyhow, okay, so we have lavender going with our lemons and we're gonna make some fizzy lavender lemonade. I'm gonna go get onions and cilantro. Bye, babe. Love a big buck. Very fitting. Continuing on from last week's episode, this is actually how we squeeze our lemons. <laughs> Let's do it. Let me cut it first, okay? <laughs> okay, ready? Let me, let me see your muscles. Squeeze. Ready? Uh, Watch your fingers. Uh, nice. And then we dump it. <laughs> yep, we are going to. You excited? <laughs> Hold on. Squeeze. Another one? Squeeze, ready? <laughs> so I have my freshly squeezed lemon in here. Add a splash of agave. And I'm just gonna put my lavender inside there. Just gonna put a half a bit in there. Wow! Add the fizzy water. Ooh, it looks so pretty. Am I actually just gonna add all of this? What's the verdict? Is it yummy? It's fizzy, huh? Oh, I think she likes it. <laughs> you want Pops to try it? Okay, Pops, you're holding it, it's very heavy. Mm. <gasps> oh. I added the second batch of lemon and didn't try it. Is it really lemony now? <laughs> Is it any more sugar? Yeah, I think so. It's good. The French way of doing a lemonade is called a citron pressé and it's basically like the raw ingredients that you make your own lemonade with so they give you um, a, a glass of fresh squeezed lemon juice a little um, container with sugar and some uh, either bottled or tap water like on the side so you can mix it to your own liking and for me I've always liked it a bit more sour than sweet now I gotta cut these green onions I just harvest fresh from the garden for my coleslaw. So you can take this one of two ways, or both ways. You can go the mayonnaise route for your slaw, or you can go with the apple cider vinegar route, or you can do half and half. And I'm gonna go with the mayonnaise route and give it like a nice spice. Give it a nice little dollop. We're using vegan A's here. Let's get real with it. Give that a nice mix. I've also added cilantro, green onion, and some lime juice. Mm. The only thing remaining is a little bit of spice and some salt. Mom. Mom. Hi. <laughs> Are you dancing? Whoa. Ooh. What spice are you using today, Chef uh, Justin? Adobo. Dabble blue. Check out these guns. Oh yeah. All of yours are gonna enjoy that. You the one no that said it. You enough. set yourself up for that one. Two!
Wait. Wait. Do you wait? Wait. Stop. Go. <laughs> Secret ingredient. <laughs> Taste test. <laughs> mm. It's not your style, though. But. What kind of beers do you drink, babe? Happy ass. Mm. <laughs> Sous chef. Okay. Ready? You gonna has take been this? hired. All right, pour some in there. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Good job. So we've got um, flour, Old Bay, and a little bit of Cajun. We're just gonna mix this up. Cup of beer. I'm just kind of going slow here. Can I get a little bit more, Chef? That's good, that's good. Thank you. Okay. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, we got enough weird there. today. Yeah, woo woo woo. Beer so battered tacos. Look at that technique. We don't have the a muscle whisk, again. So we have to use a fork. <laughs> you know why we don't have a whisk? What? We left it at the place we got married at. Right. I'll never forget that. <laughs> it's taken us three years. We still haven't gotten. I know. Way. Thanks, so, thank boo. Mmm. I'm not really a beer drinker, but I have found myself a beer that I truly do enjoy, and it has a sexy woman on the cover. Old fry oil. Mmm. Where all the flavor is. Yeah, we just reuse any leftover oil um, from the skillet and pour it into that jar so that we have it for deep frying, except uh, we shallow fry. Medium fry. Right. It is ready, babe. What's the ETA on the uh, tilapia tacos? Okay, sooner than later. <laughs> How do you know when your oil's ready? You put your hand over it and then it speaks to you and it says, I'm ready. Look, sir. Where did it go? <laughs> so it's really not very often that we eat meat, and it is in fact like a really special treat. Check it if it bubbles. It's, it's, like it's pretty good. You always want to make sure that your uh, oil is hot before you throw it in there, and you don't want to throw a whole bunch of pieces in there at once because it'll it'll cool down the oil, and then the oil will be cold again. Then it'll take time to heat back up. So start with one strip, and once you see it's up to temp, you can start throwing multiple strips in there. All right, you ready to get the first piece? Crispy and cooked. As per usual, the sous chef is no longer chefing and has decided to become a consumer of the goods. So she's having a herpish finger. It's got a nice puff to it, which I was going for. It's really yummy, babe. Thank you. I tried some of the zaleels. Was it good? Maybe. It's the first time I've ever cooked fish. Really? In my life. Are you serious? Yeah. It's impressive. So I just want to try up a different shade. These recipes are experimental, so try out a few different things, see what we like, see what we don't. So while we also generally have more of like a plant-based diet, we also feel that with this cookbook that we wanted it to be really inclusive be for everybody and not just those people that were strictly vegan or those people that were trying to be more vegan so that everybody can have something that they feel comfortable eating as a dish and maybe challenging themselves to try something different and experimenting with something they've never made before so we want it to be a really like well-rounded selection of recipes for everybody what's the secret to frying a good taco shell good tortilla and some hot oil and a dash of salt at the end Mm -hmm. That's a huge game changer. To dash that salt when it still has a little bit of oil on it and it's drying, I try to just lightly fry them so that they're still pliable. Justin decides that he's frying his tortilla shells and is going to be plating on this magical piece of wood here. I have decided to just keep it super simple and I just kept my tortillas raw. I plated just pretty much as is. And Azalea, yep, that's your food. Your Yours just looks beautiful. For all of you who have not seen on our Instagram, I fixed up our table legs, so it's a little bit less intrusive and is like more spacious than official. Finally, it's been too long. And we raised it because we have these emergency exit windows, but we decided we just prefer it without using them. <laughs> So much for all the work that went into those. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. You live, you learn. The chippy. I got some chips coming for you, Zay. 
Next time we'll use purple cabbage since it just has a much better presentation. Slice white pea for that. Are you taking my slaw? Thank you, Zach. For my first ever fish tacos. I feel like it's missing something here. Um, some type of drizzle sauce. Like a crema. Oh, like a mayo sriracha. Mm. <laughs> that was intense. That was fun. It's the first time I've cooked a real legit dish in a very long time. What do you think, Zay? Is it yummy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I'm hungry. Okay, now that we are equipped with. <laughs> <laughs> an after dinner snack. She just wanted another nugget, that's all. <laughs> um, we're really excited to be really diving into more of the recipes that we're going to be putting into this cookbook and we would love to know, we did a poll on Instagram and we would love oh, for yeah. you guys to also participate. We're trying to figure out what is better and what you prefer because we know what we prefer, ebook or hardcover. Uh oh. Or fish on the ground. Fish down. Fish down. <laughs> Anyhow, let us know in the comments. Yeah. Anyway, it's as you can see, uh, it's how we eat. So, with that, thanks for joining. Hope you enjoy the rest of Peace. Peace.